everyone, this is Jada Buchanan with Citizens Energy Group. I am on a site location this afternoon to be able to walk you through something that not everyone can see. I'm at the Deep Rock Tunnel uh, pump station with John Morgan and I'm going to turn it over to him for him to tell you more about what's going on, where we're at and what we're looking at and I really hope you guys enjoy this video and learning with me as well. So John, take it away. Hi Jada, hi everyone. Welcome to the Deep Tunnel Pump Station. This is the deepest part of our tunnel system. Where our gravity flow comes in from the tunnel, we pump it 300 feet to the surface and then it flows over to the Southport Advanced Wastewater Treatment Plant. This pump station has a multitude of components in it. The biggest part is our four 30 million gallon a day pumps. We have four required by the Environmental Protection Agency to have three plus a spare. That's why we have four. We do have the ability to pump 90 million gallons a day. Tremendous amount of flow. Currently, we've been in operation since December of 17. Since then, we have pumped in excess of 1 million gallons of flow. That much flow has not made it to our waterways. That's a great thing. Our waterways are cleaning up slowly but surely. The pumps themselves, this is one of the 30 million gallon pumps. This is main tunnel pump number two. As the flow feeds off the tunnel into the pump, it's pumped to the surface. This has almost 2,000 horsepower. Massive amount of horsepower to get that flow where we need that flow. You hear in the background some air exchangers running. We keep a clean air environment down here. We constantly have air exchanges. At this depth, we get a little bit of hydrogen sulfide in the actual groundwater. So we want to keep a clean environment for all employees or any visitors we have inside this structure. I'm going to go over here a little bit and show you, you see the walls of the cavern. They've all been shotcreted. They have a shotcrete lining. They also have a water intrusion prohibitor to eliminate any groundwater that would inflow through the rock. Um, with that, we've got a massive cavern here. It's 60 feet wide, 100 feet in length, 88 feet in height at the center of the crown on the top. It's a huge pump station unlike any other Indiana has ever seen. We see a lifespan of between 50 and 100 years for this project, not for all the mechanical components, but the actual shell that will house them. That's the deep tunnel pump station. Great. Now, John, you know I was nervous coming down here because how far underground are, are we right now? If we took the stairs out, we'd be 22 and a half floors underground. Wow. Some people do take the stairs on a regular basis. <laughs> I won't name myself. <laughs> yeah, I can assure you we probably will not be doing that today. <laughs> if not, we may not be able to actually post this video for our friends on, on social media. So, well, John, is there anything else you want to share with us on this particular location before we sign off? The only other unique component down here is we have what's called the knife gate valve. We keep the knife gate valve at all times when we are not pumping flow to the plant. It allows this structure to stay significantly locked down and not get any flow into this structure until we're ready to receive it. That's pretty much it. It's a great structure. It's a great project. And we look forward to pumping much flow in the future. Great. Thank you so much, John. So everyone, I hope you enjoyed our little site visit. Remember, we're gonna continue to do these uh, and bring you more updates and more behind the scenes look at the Dig Indy Tunnel Project. If you're just learning about Dig Indy, make sure you visit Citizens Energy Group uh, website and go to our Dig Indy page. We have a virtual tour you can walk through and we're always happy to answer any questions and let you know what else is going on. Uh, we will be sharing this on our Dig Indy Twitter account, but we'll also be sharing on the Citizens account as well. But no, the first and uh, fastest information is coming from at Dig Indy on Twitter. Hope everyone has a great day and thanks for checking out our video.